What is up, everybody? That Haunted Hero. Yeah, I'm here. And, uh, I'm doing something I don't normally do. I'm gonna talk a little bit about the gameplay. And why? Because this gameplay is by me. Yours truly. Yes, finally, I have gotten you some gameplay of my own because many of you have been asking for it, so here it is. It's not the best gameplay in the world, but it's still a gameplay nonetheless. So, as you can see, I'm using... The M16 with red dot sights, suppressor, and my perks were Marathon, uh, Warlord, and uh, I don't know what else I was using, but, um, you know, the dealio. Uh, uh, oh, Hardline, Hardline, I'm sorry. So anyway, I'm here on WMD. It wasn't the greatest of games, um, it was 21 and 7. Again, I'm just starting to uh, get a little bit better at the game and whatnot, but... Um, I finally decided, you know, I'm gonna just go and try and beast as much as I can, and the beginning of the game, like, right now is a little slow, but you'll see, once I pick up this AUG after taking it from this guy, just all hell breaks loose, and <laughs> it was just wild, like, literally, everyone was just ready to get their, their freaking head shot off, it was pretty awesome, I gotta say. So, um... Here we go. Uh, the, the audio may be a tiny bit off from what you're seeing on screen, so my apologies. But yeah, this AUG, I go to work on this with this freaking thing. Um, so, yeah. And, uh, you know, one thing I wanted to do to get away from the gameplay just for a minute, I'll just let you guys kind of enjoy this. Um, <clears throat> I like how Only Use Me Blade actually does a Sunday chill commentary, and I kind of like that idea, but I don't want to, I, I think I'd like to do that, like kind of like a, a Sunday chilled out, you know, uh, gameplay commentary, I'd like to do something like that, but uh, could you all help me think of a name uh, for that, let me know in the comment section, maybe something I could call it for Sunday, because uh, Saturday isn't so much of a chill day, everyone's just kind of doing their thing, but Sunday is more relaxed, you know, like right now I'm hanging out on my bed, and I'm just watching some gameplay here, and you know, recording. You know, recording this commentary for all of you. So, um, also, you know, I, at the ends of my videos, I also, you know, I tell everybody if you appreciate the video to give it a like and give it a favorite. I think I'm going to start mentioning to give a like earlier in the video because I don't know if everyone's watching it the whole way through. Um, I know that I don't have all that many subscribers and whatnot, but the likes and the comments and the favorites... Um, it does really help a lot because it lets me know that I'm holding your attention. So um, if you're watching right now, which obviously you are watching right now, um, if you could just smash that like button for me, only if you enjoy this, and, and I'm guessing you do because you're watching. So if you could smash that like button for me and favorite the video if you enjoy it, that would really, really help me out. Um, so I'd like to try and get, you know, like 30 to 50 to 60 uh, likes a video. Oh, I love that that little part right there. I was playing like hide-and-go-seek with this guy But I finally got him. I got him. I beasted out a little bit when that blackbird went up It definitely helped me out quite a bit um, I, I gotta I gotta tell you um, I just I was just thinking of this. Oh, that guy screwed me up. He got in my way um, I gotta say one of my uh, one of my favorite commentators right now that I definitely look up to um, is uh, Jericho and uh, he just has so much energy when he does his commentaries, and I think it's awesome. I think that, like having a high energy level is just like it gets everybody into it, and it's just like he just starts off his videos like, uh, "What is up, everybody?" or "Hey, everyone. My name is Jericho, and this is my gameplay and commentary, and where I did this, 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 and that." And you know, honestly, I love listening to him. I gotta say, I really love listening to him. And you know, I am more of a storyteller. On my commentary is way more than I am a commentator of the gameplay. I mean, I leave that to X Jaws and White Boy, and uh, those guys because they're just way better at it. <clears throat> Although I gotta say, I've definitely grown a new appreciation for White Boy Seven Street because um, I, I enjoy listening to the stories he tells, especially about his life. It's it's kind of cool to get to know people a little bit more than just oh they're a pro gamer or oh they you know they went to PAX and. They're famous and all that stuff. It kind of it's kind of cool to get to know them a little better. And also, like I like only use me blade because he's just got like a very chill voice. And it's like, what's up everybody? Only use me blade and uh, super fast motion. I love when he does that. Super fast motion. There was this one. <laughs> there was this one commentary he did where uh, specifically where he does the super fast motion thing, where he was like super fast motion, and then he did it again like two seconds later, like really fast, and he was like super fast motion. 
some fast one on. He did it a second time. I don't know. I think that's really stupid that I'm I'm really putting the the emphasis on that. But I don't know. I just found it to be kind of funny. You know, see, this is how bad I am. I go off way off on a tangent. I said I was going to talk about the gameplay, but I don't know. Um, as far as the M16 is concerned, when I first got Black Ops and whatnot, I, I was not crazy about the M16 because it's semi-automatic, and I just like to spray and pray and, you know, I hope hope I get some kills, you know? But the I gotta tell you, the M16 is really precise. If you shoot the guy... You are pretty much getting that kill in two or three, two and three shots, you know. Especially with the suppressor on this bad boy, it's it's pretty beastly, I gotta say. Um, you know, and also everyone uh, favors the AK-74U and the FAMAS and uh, whatnot. I, I tend to actually stay away from those two, to be honest. I actually took the FAMAS off my custom, um, my custom weapons because I, I just really don't like to use it that much, and I feel like if I was to do gameplays with a FAMAS, everyone's like, ooh, yeah, just another FAMAS gameplay. So I like to change it up a little bit. I like to use the M16, I like to use the AK-47, I like the Dalil. Um, I, I like to just keep it a little bit different, you know? Honestly, I wish I was better with the, uh, what is that, the M60, the big uh, lightweight machine gun or whatever. I really wish I could uh, use that a little bit more, but I just suck so bad. And, you know, when you're beasting around with that thing, it just literally rings the dinner bell for all the enemy to come and attack you. So, I mean, to be to be perfectly honest, it just, you know, it just doesn't really work too well for me. But I, I gotta say, it's a beast of a gun. And it's just, unfortunately, it's also heavy as hell. So when you're trotting around, literally, I call it trotting. Because your, your, uh, your character in the game is literally, like, using all of its energy up to, to carry that... That beast of a machine all the way around the, the map. It's pretty intense. I hate this one spot over here. I can never get up on there. I climb on the little crate and I try and get up. And I'm like, you know what? If I didn't get up there in, the, in three shots, that ain't going to happen. Not going to happen. Sorry, Charlie. But yeah. So I, gotta, I definitely got to say WMD and Grid um, are a couple of my favorite maps. I really love Firing Range as well. But I play a lot of Ground War and Domination. So I really rarely ever get to play um, Firing Range anymore. And it seems that whenever I try playing Team Deathmatch or like Search and Destroy or any of those, um, it seems like I can never get Firing Range anymore. Or Nuketown for that matter. And, and Nuketown is sometimes fun. Um, but yeah, you know, let me ask all of you that are watching right now. Why is it that all, so many people favor that map Hotel? Especially on Domination, everyone votes for it. Personally, I'm not really a huge fan of it because it's literally you just get shot like a million times from every direction There's so many hiding spots and people just annihilate you. Wait, I think I just got I think I killed this guy Yep, yes, I do that's one thing I've been trying to do a little bit more I try to play aggressive but yet a little bit passive at the same time I try and play the defensive line a little bit more often because I used to get really impatient and just kind of rush out with an AK-74U or like, uh, you know, some sort of SMG and just get annihilated. Um, I've actually also tended to stay away from the SMGs a lot. I, tr I stay with the assault rifles because they're pretty good for uh, up close range and uh, also for the distance. I mean, the distance is really where I find I get the most kills and maintain a kill streak because just by running in, it just screws you up. It really messes you up. And I, I'm sure, as many of you can see, I'm just, you know, how amateur I am at the game. You can you can see, I mean, I'm, I'm, I guess I'm an okay, I'm, I'm a little below average, I would say, but, you know, I'm trying, I'm trying. Like, uh, you know, to give you a quick backstory, I never used to play much first-person shooter, and when I did, it was basic stuff on the PC, and that was pretty much it. But anyway, guys, this commentary is coming to a close. Thank you so much for watching. We've just hit 1,400 subscribers on this channel, growing rapidly still. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like and favorite it. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Please subscribe. More videos to come. And in the comment section, give me some topics to talk about in future videos. And send in your stuff to thathauntedhero at yahoo.com. I'll see you all very soon. Peace. I'm out. Later.